Hey now, welcome to episode 8 of Lone Star Mini Restoration. Um, today it's not really about the restoration itself, although it can be related to it, and so to speak. It's uh, my mini conundrum. Um, I was faced uh, two days ago with a text. The text read, uh, hey, is that blue mini for sale? And I was like, who the heck is this? What in the world? So I responded to the text. I said, I'm sorry, um, uh, I don't know who this is and what is your interest in the mini? And so they responded. They said, hey, I was looking on Craigslist. Um, I have a car up for another car up for sale. And they were looking at the car and they saw the mini in the background. So this is the picture that I posted. And they saw that mini, this mini that I'm sitting in, they saw it in the background and they said, hey, is that mini for sale? Well, despite everything that I've said, um, they want to buy the car. Uh, he wanted to come down today, in fact. He wanted to come down yesterday. And I said no. Then he wanted to come down today. And I said no. Um, and he, I've told him everything that's wrong with the car. Um, everything. I said, look, I said, I am really not all that interested in selling the car. So you bet I'll tell you everything that's wrong with it. Um, and despite all that, he wants to come down and look at the car. Now he wants to bring a trailer, which tells me his intent is serious. Um, because if he likes it, he he, he wants to pay for it and buy it home. He made an offer. He says, what if I pay cash? And I said, well, I said, that's fine. I said, but uh, this is my price. In fact, um, I said, no, I, I won't sell it to you for that. I said, this is my price. And then um, later I said, well, I'll seriously consider um, this number. And he uh he had no problems with it. And then even, I even changed it after that because I was like, man, I'm not ready to sell the car. Um, and then he says, okay, just let me know. Uh, when, when, when can I come? And I'm thinking, oh, crap. So, you know, here years, I wait years and years to buy my first Mini. You know, I, I purchased it there in England, had it shipped over, picked it up from the ports. I drove it around for a while, um, and then I started tearing it down, and now it's on the rotisserie where, rotisserie where it is, you know, going through the restoration. And then the next two car, the next two Minis that I purchased were totally flukes, um, uh, all by accident. Uh, I wasn't really looking. They just uh, happened, happened to... Uh, come into view, so to speak. Um, this one, including the 64 American barn find that I have. Um, and so, but now that I have them, I'm not excited about selling them. Um, in fact, this car was going to become my daughter's. Um, I was going to, because I think the rotisserie, the, the re restoration one's going to take me a while. So I was thinking, well, this one I'll paint red. I'll change out the interior, seats, cards and the doors, the, the dashboard, everything on the inside. And my daughter can drive this one. I figure I can turn that around better, quicker than I can the restoration. Um, so now, but now this guy wants to drive it uh, or he wants to buy it. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Well, on the flip side, what is this, a first world problem? Yeah, I think so. But still, it's kind of a heartache. That's the heartache side. On the good side of it, you know, I still don't have my welder. And this is how it relates to my rest, my restoration. I still don't have my welder, and there's a sandblasting booth and some other tools um, that I've that are on my wish list that I've wanted to get. Well, if I sell this car, I'll be down a mini, and I won't be able to drive it to and from work. Um, I drive the suburban most of the time, anyways. Um, but I'll get the tools, and I can continue on my restoration. So that's a plus side. Uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of there. Oh, and the other negative side is that I was going to tow uh, next month in November. Uh, we're meeting my sister and her husband in the mountains for a Thanksgiving uh, getaway. And so I was going to tow this mini to the mountains because where we're going is they have a famous road called the Tail of the Dragon. It's an 11-mile stretch with that has like 118 turns in it. And it's all up and down, beautiful mount, mountainous uh, um, landscape. And so I was going to drive this because that's been kind of on my USA bucket list. Uh, and I was going to drive this mini down the tail of the dragon. Um, and I was going to video it and do the whole thing. I was going to make it one of my episodes. Uh, however, now if the car sells, then I won't be able to do that. Um, the guy wanted to come down again today, but I said, no, um, let's look at later in the week. And I'm kind of, and slightly, I'm kind of hoping that something will come up and he'll change his mind. But uh, maybe if he comes down later in the week and this car uh, leaves my driveway, well, then I'll just get the tools that I need for the restoration. 
Um, so yeah, it's my mini conundrum, uh, first world problem. Uh, it's a beautiful little car, even with all its flaws. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but so that's it. I'll show you a picture of it. I'll uh, get out of the car and, 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 and show you essentially this is her, uh, yeah, but so I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, but so today, on my task today, outside the rest, well, part of the restoration is my air compressor, my pressure switch uh, burned all the heck up and I lost all my air compressor. So um, I've got to fix this. This is on my uh, task for the day is, ref is fixing my air compressor. Um, but so this guy right here, uh, I can keep moving, keep moving forward. But, yeah, so I end up may, I, I may be selling this guy. Uh, kind of heavy heart with the idea. Um, I, I wonder if that's always, is that what it's always like with you guys whenever you have to get rid of a mini? Kind of a heavy heart. Uh, like, wow, should I do it? But I have, I have my reservation, my, my, my restoration. I've got this puppy. I know it says Mini Cooper here. It really wasn't a Mini Cooper. It was a Mini Cooper lookalike and not even then really. But uh, this, this is becoming my baby. And I, I have the 64 over here. The 64, uh, oh, the garage is closed. Uh, I have the 64 Austin Cooper. Yeah, so uh, there she is. But, and I don't really know what's going to happen this week. Uh, she may be leaving my driveway, and if she does, then I'll be uh, looking for all the tools and, and new panels for the restoration, uh, which is a good thing. And if she doesn't leave the driveway, that's a good thing, because uh, I'll be excited about the Tale of the Dragon uh, video coming up in the next month or so. Um, but yeah, uh, there's my beautiful car with all her flaws right there. And uh, hey, ain't it great? Thanks for watching, and uh, bye just now from Texas.